So I'm going to show you some common issues with VLOOKUPs. Uh, let's look at the first one here. Uh, we've got some cities that we're looking for in the data in, the, in column C, and our answer comes from column D. So we look at our formula, and here's our lookup value, which is fine. Uh, we have our table array, so we're looking in column C. The answer comes from column D, because we have a 2 here, and then the 0, or it could be a false, to indicate exact match. Now, let's uh, when you see that the, all of them are NA errors, it's a pattern. So let's take a look at the data itself. We click inside the formula bar to see what's really in there. See, we can see the value here. But if we click in here, we see that there's no spaces, nothing at the end. So let's go back to our data and sort of randomly look at some of the values. Sydney, I'm going to click in the formula bar, and there's a little, some kind of a character there. So let's look at a couple more. Uh, let's look at Shanghai something at the end as well and one more Istanbul same thing so there's a consistent pattern I'm gonna click in here hold down the shift key press the left arrow and I'm gonna copy that value then press escape because it looks like a space but maybe it maybe it's not a space come over here and in my formula I'm going to add that value I'm gonna just use the ampersand to concatenate that value I'm gonna control V to paste it another bracket to end it press the enter key and now we're finding the value I drag this down so I could have entered the value at the end here or the other option is to put it within the formula so our next issue uh, sometimes it gets very messy because we have several problems at the same time let's look at uh, we've got our lookup cities and we have the answers and we've got three answers returned and three NAs now to make a long story short, if we look at all these cells, there's a space or something after that one. In this one, there isn't. So how do we quickly write a formula that's going to fix the and get our answers? Well, let's do this. Let's just call this data2, or second attempt to get an answer here. If we were to, uh, we could start with the same VLOOKUP, actually. Just copy this, go into this cell, paste. Now, if I were to say, as we have spaces after some of them and not after other ones, we want to have it consistent. I could trim this to take away the spaces at the beginning and at the end, not in the middle of the text, but beginning and end. So they're all the same, they're all trimmed, and then I can add the space so it's consistent all the way down. I drag this down, and it works for one more cell for Osaka, but it's still not working for Geneva and for Frankfurt. And what makes it frustrating is if you go into the cell and you click here, it looks like there's nothing after it, and this one as well. It looks like there's nothing there at all. But sometimes in the data you get strange characters when the data is exported from other systems. And if we were to take a look here, if you expand the formula bar, click in here, and press the down arrow button, there's something below. Now in a cell like Osaka, if I were to click in here and press the down arrow, it doesn't go there. There's nothing there. If I were to go to this one, there's no spaces at the end at all, and I press down, it doesn't move. But for Geneva, there's something below, same for Frankfurt. I press the down arrow, there's something down there. Now, the trick is that I put in a carriage return, which sometimes comes in with data, and it isn't a space. It is basically, if you say equals char, and you put a 10 in here, we can make a carriage return. So that is a character return. If you then copy that and paste it as a value, so in this cell, just to prove it all, do a length on that cell. So it is a length of one. This isn't really a blank. There is something in here, which is a character return, which is essentially on a typewriter when you hit enter or return. So uh, to fix this problem, we are going to go in here, and I'm going to, within the formula bar, I'm going to say clean. I'm going to put that function around our lookup value, which is B5. So first we're cleaning B5, and then we're trimming B5, and then we're adding the space. So hopefully now we will find all of our answers. I drag it down, and now, of course, all of them are found. Tricky thing here. Uh, we had three different situations. We had, within this our lookup cities, some had no spaces or no carriage returns, perfectly clean. Some had a space at the end. 
and two of them had the carriage returns. So there's three steps here. First we clean it, and then we trim it so they're all the same, and then we add the space at the end uh, because this, this data is inconsistent, but luckily when we go back to our, our data sheet, the cities are consistent. They always have that little space at the end, and it is a true space. It's not a carriage return.